Thank you for pressing play. Your presence here brings joy to my heart. Greetings, explorers of knowledge. Join us as we embark on a quest to understand Charlevoix County, Michigan. Charlevoix County is a county in the U.S. state of Michigan. The county seat is Charlevoix, and the largest city is Boyne City. Located in the northern Lower Peninsula, Charlevoix County is bisected by Lake Charlevoix, Michigan's third largest inland lake. As of the 2020 census, the county's population was 26,054. Beaver Island, the largest island in Lake Michigan, is located within Charlevoix County. Get ready for an exciting part as we dive into surveyed and organized as Keskku County. Between 1840 and 1841, surveyors William Austin Burt, John Mullet and Charles W. Cathcart surveyed much of northern Michigan. Cathcart oversaw the Internal Lines Survey for Ernau, the region which would later be known as Charlevoix. Mullet and Cathcart laid out many of the townships in the new county including Charlevoix Township. The county was originally organized in 1840 as Keskkorko in honor of a great chief of the Saginaw tribe, and name was changed from Reshkanku to Charlevoix County in 1843. The county was named in 1843 for Pierre Franois Xavier de Charlevoix, a Jesuit missionary of the French colonial era. Brace yourself for a deep dive into Strangit's gain power and reorganize Keskko into Emmett County as we explore its impact and relevance in our evolving narrative. In 1847, a group of Strangit Mormons settled on Beaver Island and established a kingdom led by King James Jesse Strang. There were bitter disputes between Strang's followers and other white settlers. Strang, seeking to strengthen his position, gained election to the Michigan State House of Representatives. In January 1853, he pushed through legislation titled, An Act to Organize the County of Emmett, which enlarged Emmett County by attaching the nearby Lake Michigan Islands to Emmett County, as well as a portion of Cheboygan County and Keskkurishkanku Charlevoix. Charlevoix was thus organized in 1853 as a township under Emmett County and consisted all of the nine townships in the southern half of Emmett County. As we venture forward, let's take a closer look at popular dissatisfaction with Mormon power and its impact on our understanding. Due to Strang's influence, Mormons came to dominate Emmett County government, causing an exodus of many non-Mormon settlers to neighboring areas. In 1855, the non-Mormon resistance succeeded in getting the Michigan legislature to reorganize Emmett County. The islands, including Beaver Island and North and South Manitou Islands, were transferred into the separate Manitou County, which effectively eliminated Mormons from Emmett County government. After an assassination attempt on June 20, 1856, Strang died three weeks later. Moving on to the next segment, we have Charlevoix Township splits off to become Charlevoix County in 1869. Emmett County continued to experience tensions as citizens clashed over whether to put the county seat at Little Traverse Harbor Springs versus Mackinac City. In a contested election in 1867, residents voted to move the county seat to Charlevoix, which was upheld by a circuit court decision in 1868. However, in 1869, Charlevoix County was split from Emmett County, resulting in Charlevoix being the official county seat for Emmett County as well as for the newly formed Charlevoix County. In the upcoming portion, we'll be dissecting county seat wars Charlevoix versus East Jordan versus Boyne City to gain a comprehensive understanding of its implications. In 1873, the Grand Rapids and Indiana Railroad was completed through the eastern side of Charlevoix County up to Peterski, and the east side of Pine Lake became more and more populated. For example, Resort Township and Springville Township, Michigan were formed in 1880 as a part of Charlevoix County. As new townships became established, Boyne City colluded with East Jordan to gain a requisite majority of township supervisors to vote to move the county seat to East Jordan. In October 1884, 11 of the existing 16 township supervisors designated East Jordan to be the county seat. 
In October 1886, Boyne City convinced of township supervisors to move the county seat to Boyne City. Finally, in a January 1897 land deal with Emmett County and the state legislature, Charlevoix County took on three townships on Beaver Island while giving up Resort, Bear Lake, and Springville townships to Emmett County. The resulting balance of township supervisor votes gave the city of Charlevoix enough votes to obtain the county seat after a 13-year hiatus. In this section, we'll be exploring other history. The Ironton Ferry began operation in 1876, and Ironton soon became a location for iron manufacture. There are 10 Michigan State historical markers in the county, and the area was once home to a thriving culture of odor fishers, hunters, and fur trappers Big Rock Point Nuclear Power Plant Boyne City United Methodist Church Charlevoix Depot Green Ski Hill Mission Horace South. Harsher House Horton Bay John Porter and Eva Porter State Mormon Kingdom Mormon Print Shop Norwood Township Hall. The spotlight now falls on geography as we delve deeper into its details. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, the county has a total area of 1390 sky, of which 70% is water. Surface area and convertive shoreline is a very prominent feature of the county. Gull, Hat, Pismire, and Shoe Islands which are part of the Beaver Island Archipelago, form the Lake Michigan Division of the Michigan Islands National Wildlife Refuge, and two of them are part of the Michigan Islands Wilderness Area. The county is considered to be part of northern Michigan. Let's now turn our attention to adjacent counties and uncover the fascinating insights it brings to the table. Islandamet County North, Cheboygan County Northeast, Otsego County Southeast, Antrim County South. Iwata Mackinac County North, Leelanau County Southwest, Schoolcraft County Northwest. In this chapter, we'll be shedding light on National Protected Area and its role in shaping our understanding. Michigan Islands National Wildlife Refuge Part. As we transition to the next segment, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding cities and gain a fresh perspective. Oin City, Charlevoix County Seat, East Jordan. Moving forward we'll be taking a closer look at civil townships. Bay Township, Boyne Valley Township, Chandler Township, Charlotte Township, Evangeline Township, Evelyn Township, Hayes Township, Hudson Township, Marion Township, Murrows Township, Norwood Township, Peen Township, South Arm Township, Street James Township, Wilson Township. As we enter this new phase, let's uncover the impact of census-designated places on our broader topic. Advance Bay, Shaw Horton Bay, Ironton, Norwood Street James, Walloon Lake. As we progress through this video, let's now turn our gaze towards Indian reservations. Charlevoix County contains portions of two Indian reservations, both of which are branches of the federally recognized Odawa tribe. The Grand Traverse Band of Ottawa and Chippewa Indians occupies a small reservation in southwest Evelyn Township. The Little Traverse Bay Bands of Odawa Indians has four scattered reservations throughout the county, three small sections in Hayes Township and one isolated section in Street James Township on Beaver Island. Let's transition to demographics and uncover its significance. As of the census of 2000, there were 26,090 people, 10,400 households and 7,311 families residing in the county. The population density was 63 mi. There were 15,370 housing units at an average density of 37 mi. I 2020, its population was 26,054. In 2000, the racial makeup of the county was 96.31% white, 0.17% black or African American, 1.54% Native American, 0.23% Asian, 0.09% Pacific Islander, 0.41% from other races, and 1.25% from two or more races. 1.04% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. 21.8% were of German, 12% English, 11% American, 10.6% Irish and 8.4% Polish ancestry. 97.3% spoke English and 1.1% Spanish as their first language. There were 10,000. 
for 100 households, out of which 31.8% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 58.4% were married couples living together, 8.1% had a female householder with no husband present, and 29.8% were non-families. 25.2% of all households were made up of individuals, and 10.5% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.48 and the average family size was 2.96. In the county, 25.9% of the population was under the age of 18, 6.5% from 18 to 24. 27.4% from 25 to 44, 25.2% from 45 to 64, and 14.9% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 39 years. For every 100 females there were 97.9 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 94.8 males. In 2000, the median income for a household in the county was $39,788, and the median income for a family was $46,260. Males had a median income of $32,457 versus $22,447 for females. The per capita income for the county was $20,130. About 5.4% of families and 8% of the population were below the poverty line, including 10% of those under age 18 and 5.9% of those age 65 or over. In the upcoming portion, we'll be dissecting government to gain a comprehensive understanding of its implications. The county government operates the jail, maintains roll roads, operates the major local courts, keeps files of deeds and mortgages, maintains vital records, administers public health regulations, and participates with the state in the provision of welfare and other social services. The County Board of Commissioners controls the budget but has only limited authority to make laws or ordinances. In Michigan, most local government functions police and fire, building and zoning, tax assessment, street maintenance, and so on are the responsibility of individual cities and townships. Charlevoix is part of the 114th district. As we progress, let's shine a spotlight on state highways and examine its intricate interplay within our topic. Is a route that parallels the shore of Lake Michigan. The route passes through the city of Charlevoix, and can be used to access Traverse City to the south, and Peterski and the Mackinac Bridge to the north is a north-south route in the east of the county. The route passes through Boyne Falls is an east-west route that begins in East Jordan, and continues southeast into Antrim County. The highway can be used to access Gaylord and Alpena, to the east is a north-south route that terminates at US 31 in Charlevoix. The highway is the longest state trunkline highway in the Lower Peninsula, and continues south to the Indiana border near Sturgis is a highway that runs entirely within Charlevoix County. The highway begins at US 131 in Boyne Falls, and continues northwest to Boyne City. The highway then turns northeasterly, and terminates once more at US 31 in Walloon Lake. In this chapter, we'll be unraveling the enigma of airports and discovering its transformative power. Beaver Island is served by two airlines. Work Airport. Beaver Island Airport. As we move forward, let's uncover the untold stories and fascinating intricacies of ferry service. Beaver Island Boat Company maintains a regular auto ferry from Charlevoix. The Einton Ferry at Einton, Michigan crosses the south arm of Lake Charlevoix. It is a designated Michigan historical site and has been in operation since 1876. As we enter this new phase, let's navigate the complexities of bus service and discover its practical applications. Indian Trails provides intercity bus service with stops in the city of Charlevoix and Boyne Falls. Countywide dial a ride bus service is provided by the Charlevoix County Transit System. I hope you learned something new today.
let me know what you found most interesting in the comments below.